Hi, everybody. I'm very glad to be here again. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. And I'm just going to make some pockets, some easy, easy pockets. And I have this very old paper. And it's pretty nice. I think if it I think it's out of my cowboy book. Ooh, this is old. Oh, I forgot the glue I was going to use. I guess I'll just use my tacky glue. Let's see here. I hope you can see. Oh, I was going to glue two together, so I should be taking two at a time. So I'll just take two at a time. So these are kind of uh, little envelopes and after I get a bunch made then I'm just going to decorate them. I'm so happy it's finally getting cooler here. A little bit cooler. Not a lot. A little bit. I think it was only 103 today and yesterday. Um, I think it was only 101. And that is clearly a signal that we're going to get some cooler weather ahead. And I'm so happy. Don't really even need the ruler.
my kitty is making great progress. She will let me brush her now. You know, she's partly long hair and part medium hair. And she's very, this summer, this spring and summer, she has shed so much. So much, I'm telling you. My friend down the street that had her two sisters, they never did adjust to being inside. So she had to let them go outside now. I saw them in my backyard. She's worried that they won't be accepted by the colony that's on our street. I don't blame her. I'm going to decorate, you know, and put lace. That would be so much fun. I felt really sorry for her because the last thing she wanted was to let them go outside. What you doing, little girl? Oh, she's looking at my container. I'll show you my container when I'm done. It's very cool. And I'm gonna I'm gonna store my ephemera ephemera in it. paper is really old. Uh, my two kitties, you remember that I had the little white kitty sugar and um, she was socialized when I got her. She was shy and, you know, not sure about being, being here because she had been in her home all her life. But she is a sweetheart. She is such a sweetheart. And all this time, I have had little Olivia here in the in my craft room. I come in here and play with her. I've spent a lot of money on toys for this little girl. And she's adorable. She's she's she can be kind of a brat, but Lately, I think it's mostly me. I'm just learning how to better, um, how to be a better meow me to the feral, to the feral cat. Anyway, the little 
uh, white wine sugar. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I have um, taken in a feral cat and uh, a, a kitty that was abandoned in her house but because her Yami passed away and um, I don't know what happened really. I don't know if they forgot that she was there or what, but anyway, my friend that did the, the TNR project, she called me and she said, this little kitty needs, is 10 years old, she needs a home really bad. So, I mean, what do you do? Anyway, she's darling, and she stays by me. She sleeps by me. She's just so cute. But I think she has been an only kitty. And this one here came from some rowdy feral sisters of hers. And what a bunch. So, can I open the door to come in here? <laughs> and I didn't know it, but Little Sugar was behind me. And um, she and this little girl, Olivia, met eyes for the first time. They did, I did, they, there was no hissing. There was that low down crouch that cats will make when they're staring each other off. And I, I thought, oh no, I've got to get this, this I've got to fix this <laughs> situation. So I did. And, um, the trouble is, I think that Olivia really wants to run around in the other part of the house, and I don't blame her at all. But that means that she is going to be around sugar, and if you remember, or maybe you don't much for my new people, if you don't know, sugar was declawed. She has no claws, front or back. And there is nothing that would be fair about the two of them having a little argument. Nothing that would be fair about that at all. Because Olivia is armed with, with a full set of claws. Not to mention she's pretty, she's an, an aggressive cat being feral. So if you wonder what the bird sounds are, I I play bird videos for Olivia for a while I'm crafting in here so that she will behave herself <laughs> and watch the bird watch the <clears throat> bird videos. They are on YouTube. They are especially for cats, and my cat loves them. They are. They are just, the little birds in these videos are just jumping all around. And Olivia attacks the screen, you know, with her paws. She tries to catch the birds with her paws. So... That's why you may hear the bird sounds from the cat video. Okay, so this is my new container, and it's for my different things that I make, tags and pockets, um, the triangles. I got that from Ikea. It's very neat. Very neat. 
Yeah. Yeah. She's looking at me like, what are you doing, woman? Okay, I need to, first of all, I need to see what you're seeing. And I need to check the time, and the time is 16 minutes. So that's cool. long with this paper because it's fragile. So I'm just going to cut it for now. So this container uh, right here was um, one of the retail therapy um, things that I bought. I bought quite a few, so I'll be I'll be using them and telling you know showing you about them. These are pretty cool papers. They're, they're all of them are vintage pictures because the book's old, and so I like that. I'm gonna save that.
I'll trim these better. After I get them glued together. One of the things, be careful, you don't want to use one one book thin book page alone to make these pockets. You want to put two together like this, two together. These are similar to some pockets I saw some other people make and I think that uh, one of them, I know that one of them was Patricia Viramontes and she's the queen of making pockets and tucks and all kinds of things uh, from book pages, book text. So you should go over and check out her, her channel too. She's just a really sweet lady too. So this is just the beginning of these pockets. I keep calling them pockets. They're more like little envelopes, I think. Very cute. an eye on her she's she loves those videos but she's really <laughs> kind of uh, maybe I should call it assertive our kitty's assertive I don't know hi how are you did you want to come up here? I don't think that would be a good idea right now. Twenty-four. So that's about it. I should, uh, I should not go too long. Okay. Next time I'll be showing you some of the different kinds of ephemera that I, I bought. Okay, so these are the pockets that I made, just little ones. And I can just keep them in here till we decorate them tomorrow. If you want to work along with me, that would be great. Just, uh, Get an old book and um, tear some of the pages out. 
and uh, you can you can fold them. It's so simple. You'll love it. And you'll have a bunch of pockets when you're done to decorate. So neat. Okay. Just need to get rid of this. I think I have another couple of minutes and I would just like to show you um, some paper that I bought. I love this. I've never bought paper before. Well, one time I did. Um, I'll take that back. One time I did buy paper and it was um, Mike from Michael's. It was nice. Cute back to school type images. This one is called Stamperia and it's a Suelos de Sueño and it is beautiful guys. Beautiful. It's double sided so I might use some of this In my next journal. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Little tags, a whole page full. Todo lo que puedes imaginar es real. I love the Spanish language. I wish I was more practiced in speaking it. You have to be around uh, the people to speak it. This is a little envelope to cut out and put together. Some different cards and tags. What you doing? Uh oh, what happened? Did you turn it off? <laughs> She's just staring at us like, whoa, what happened? And it just goes on and on. It's distressed around the edges. I think that's so cool. And so there we go, Stamperia Asuelos Asuejos de Sueño. And there's all the pieces to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with me and spending a little time. And I'll see you next time.